Liberty Process. This is an instructional disassembly video for the ANPL series progressing cavity pump. This video is for pump sizes 3.2, 6.2, and 12.2. Before starting the disassembly of your Liberty Process pump, we recommend that you contact a Liberty Process representative if you have any questions. If the pump has been in service, we recommend you have flushed and drained the pump of all pump mediums and have a sturdy workbench on which to work. Tools required for the disassembly of the ANPL progressive cavity pump, a 13 millimeter wrench, a small file, punch and hammer, a flat bladed screwdriver, small snap ring pliers, needle nose and cutting pliers, a vise mounted to a table or stand, and an arbor or hydraulic press. Stator removal. Begin by removing the four tie rod nuts using a 13 millimeter wrench. Remove the four tie rods by unscrewing them from the bearing housing. Put the pump in a vise vertically and secure it at the drive shaft. Remove the pump adapter. Remove the stator by lifting it straight up or unscrewing it from the rotor. Lift the suction casing off the bearing housing. Remove the rubber o-ring from the bearing housing and replace if required. Rotor and connecting rod removal. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to loosen the metal bands and slide them off the rubber sleeve. Once the metal bands are removed, use a flathead screwdriver to pry the rubber sleeve off the joint. Use a small file to remove the pin mark used to keep the pin cover sleeve on the rotor head. Slide the pin cover sleeve down and off the rotor head. Remove the pin by using a punch and hammer. Once the pin is removed, you can lift the rotor off the connecting rod. Now you can remove the pin cover sleeve, followed by the rubber sleeve and metal band. Pry off the top band of the other rubber sleeve using a flathead screwdriver. It may be helpful to use a hammer and screwdriver to assist in removing the last metal band. You can now remove the second rubber sleeve and metal band. Be sure to check both rubber sleeves for damage and replace if required. Use a small file to remove the peen mark that holds the cover sleeve in place. Now slide the cover sleeve off the connecting rod. Remove the drive shaft pin by using a punch and hammer. Remove the connecting rod from the drive shaft. Check all four bushings for wear and replace if required. Drive shaft removal. Flip the bearing housing vertically in the vise and secure at the drive shaft head. Remove the key from the keyway using a hammer and punch. Once again, flip the bearing housing vertically and secure at the keyway. Slide the flinger ring up against the top bearing. Using a pair of snap ring pliers, remove the snap ring from inside the bearing housing.
Place the bearing housing in a press with the keyway facing up. Press the drive shaft until the bearing and spacer come loose from the bearing housing. Remove the bearing housing and drive shaft from the press and place on a workbench. Bearing removal from the pump drive shaft. There is a snap ring on both sides of the inner bearing and both snap rings must be removed. If using a sealed spacer, tap the spacer side to side until you have enough room to place the drive shaft in a press and remove the spacer and bearing. If using a ported spacer, put the drive shaft in a vise with the keyway facing up and use a jaw puller to remove the top bearing and ported spacer. Put the drive shaft on the workbench and remove the first snap ring. Place the drive shaft in a press and remove the second bearing. Place the drive shaft back on the workbench and remove the last snap ring with small snap ring pliers. Slide the flinger ring off of the drive shaft. Next, remove the seal housing. Remove the mechanical seal and spring. Use an adapter and hammer to remove the stationary face of the mechanical seal assembly from the seal housing. Make sure to inspect all parts for wear and replace if required. The ANPL series of progressive cavity pump is now completely disassembled. If you have any questions about or require spare parts for the repair of your Liberty Process ANPL Progressive Cavity Pump, please feel free to contact us at www.libertyprocess.com. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.